So today we're going to look at the grip and this is not going to be your usual grip lesson. We're going to talk about the key pressure points in the grip to help lag, to help control the club face to the hitting zone to make sure you have complete control over the golf ball. Most people who come into my lesson T will be unaware of the things we're going to talk about today until I mention them. And also a lot of people there are really trying hard to get shaft lean and create that club face control without doing these magic moves. Keep watching to learn all about the correct pressure positions in the grip. So we're going to look today at certain pressure areas in the grip and certain things. I'm not going to go through every single pressure position in the grip, but I'm going to talk to you through the key two elements I would like you to adapt in your grip when you take that address position to the golf club. Now, left hand we're going to have on the golf club. I'm not really going to talk too much about the left hand here at all today. We're going to talk mostly about the right hand or trail hand. Now, the first key thing I want to talk about is the lifeline right here. I want that lifeline pressed against the thumb of your lead hand. And I want the pressure to be onto that thumb and with these two middle fingers in your trail hand. What we see with a lot of golfers is when they hit the golf ball, this pressure gets lost and this trail hand comes away. And as you can see that when that happens, the club face closes and increases in dynamic loft. We don't want that. We want this to be pushing the shaft if we can. And you can see if I push the shaft, how I create more shaft lean and I reduce the dynamic loft. And obviously I can rotate the club still, I can rotate the shaft still to get that club face closing down. So we can apply different amount of rotation depending if we need the club face to open or close more. The second pressure point is all about the trigger fingers or trigger finger, I should say. So you'll see here in my trail hand, how I've got a big gap there. And the finger and the thumb are kind of pushing against each other and pinching that shaft. And if we do this correctly, along with the lifeline position, what happens is we get a little bulge here in our trail hand. That muscle gets really activated. And what I want to see really from a golf point of view is that trigger finger, that pressure, and we sometimes refer to this one here as the lag pressure point. We want to see that maintained and it helps us obviously control the shaft in this transition area too. If we have the finger nearer to the other finger here, so there's no trigger finger, it's very easy for this club to twist in transition and open the club face, which is something we do not want to see. We want to see the club face control throughout the whole swing. We want to see us be able to manage and control our lag throughout the whole golf swing. We want to present the golf club with forward lean and we want to present it so it gets ball and turf. So having this grip correct is going to help you achieve those things through the hitting zone. Now obviously if you have a very what we call strong grip with hands underneath here it is very difficult to get those lag pressure points. So that's the only thing I would say to you if your ball flight is as you desire and your hand is under here this will be a very difficult thing for you to change and maybe something we should consult either myself through an online lesson or a PGA golf professional, just to make sure you're getting the right matchups in your golf swing to be able to take this change on board. You should be able to hold the grip one-handed like that and release your last finger like that and be able to have that control in the club. That's what we want to be able to do. You should be able to do that by having the pressure in the finger and the thumb enough to be able to control the club and manage the weight of the club correctly. So what I'd like you to do is hit a few little half shots, practice shots, getting used to the feel of that pressure, making sure the right hand does not leave the lead hand. Then build that up to some small swings. And obviously build that up all the way to a full shot. <clears throat> but we want that pressure to be in place throughout the whole swing. So there you have it. The pressure in the right areas of that trail hand can make a huge difference to your ball flight and your contact. 
Make sure you give it a go. Post down below any comments or questions, but also if you've enjoyed the video, please click like and share the video. It really helps me if you can do that. Also, chat about your golf. Tell me about what areas of the golf, your golf game you were struggling with and you'd like me to try and help you with, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can with a video that is more personal in that way to help your game. Thank you for watching today. Thank you for joining me at the Forest of Arden. Hope to see you back here real soon.